Hi. Hi, I'm Pam the Switchbead. I'm a member of the Lingo Biowearables team. So, uh, world leading biowearables, is that yes. true? That is true. So, we've got Freestyle Libre and then Lingo. They're both biowearables. Freestyle Libre is developed for individuals with diabetes. This is the uh, representation of the Freestyle Libre 3. So, what, what does that go inside the body or outside? So, this is applied on the back of the arm and it sits, there's a small carbon fiber filament. It sits just below the skin and they're developed for continuous wear over 14 days. 14 days below so, the skin? So for, for 14 days, you wear a biosensor on the back of your arm and it's continuously providing glucose data to a smartphone app so that you can see your glucose and use those insights to make changes to your diet, to your exercise, to your But lifestyle. you need to operate something under the skin? No, so it just it just rests on it, the skin. It just rests on the skin and it communicates with a smartphone via Bluetooth. And how accurate is the information? It is within the accuracy of a finger prick, which is the kind of that gold standard that we use for uh, glucose measurement. So no need to do the fingerprint all the time? No. People no. do that a lot, right? They do, Some they people do. do multiple times so, a day. And sometimes people use the finger prick or you do a lab draw. Sometimes people use the finger prick if they are not with a, if they don't have a CGM or they don't have access to their smartphone or for some reason. These take about an hour to warm up after you apply. So there's still times in life you want to use a finger stick for sure. What is this one hour? The you one, need to it, warm up? It warms up. It basically kind of gets to know, your biosensor gets to know your body and then it communicates with the smartphone. So it's kind of like calibrating yes. in the beginning? Yeah. And then when you put a new one on after 14 days, it needs to calibrate again? It calibrates again, yep. Because each one is unique or something? Yes, exactly. And and uh, so this is groundbreaking for a lot of people who for are diabetes? For a lot diabetes? of people. I used to work in diabetes with uh, type 1 individuals who in a pediatric hospital, and we didn't have CGMs. We just relied on lab draws or finger pricks. So CGMs are a real game changer for individuals, whether they're, they have diabetes and they want to measure their glucose continuously, or if they're looking to improve their metabolic health, like we have for Lingo, or improve their performance, their mood, their energy. Uh, but this is not what you put on your arm, is it? This is a representation, yeah. So this is Freestyle Libre 3. It's the smallest CGM that's so available. So like this kind of, and there's this part that sticks to the yeah, skin. Yeah, so this is the adhesive that sticks to the skin. It's just like a plaster. Yeah. And is it very expensive? Uh, it varies in the market. So is, so is it available now? The Freestyle Libre is available in 60 countries. Lingo just recently launched in the UK. All right, what is the Lingo? What is Lingo? Yeah. Lingo is our bio-wearable that is similar to Freestyle Libre. It measures a wide, it measures a range of glucose that you want to stay within for better metabolic health. And across your time that you're wearing Lingo, the app is continuously translating your data and simplifying it for you so you can make changes to your diet, which is probably the primary thing you're going to change, your lifestyle, your exercise habits, so that you get better glucose control and you're not spiking and crashing all day long. Uh, because I, I guess people that prick themselves all the time, they uh, they get desensitized you fingers and it's calluses, really like, yes. must, must be a kind of like weird. Yes. Uh, to do that, a lot of pricks, and they they, they do in each finger, or yeah, and so it just you, goes all over. Yes, yes, you do have to you have to measure multiple times throughout the day. So the nice thing about this uh, continuous glucose monitor is the finger pricks give you very valuable insights, but they just give you one snapshot in time, right? So it's just one, however many finger pricks you do. The glucose. Um, the continuous glucose monitors will measure your glucose across the day, across every minute, so that you get more and more data points. Directly in the app? Yes. Can, is it possible to have a look? Yes, it is or possible. Or is it private information you don't want to show? Well, I don't want, to, I don't want you to see how much sugar I've consumed today. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, I just interrupted you were eating one of these uh, glucose bars. Yeah, well, I was eating uh, a, uh, one of our energy To make it spike bars. a little bit? Yeah. Because uh, I guess uh, it's like a wave, right? Uh, the, the glucose levels constantly yeah, so, move around? So we used to have this idea that if you didn't, if you were not an individual with diabetes, you just kind of stayed steady all day long. But you can see in this representation, there's a lot of activity, right? So, yeah. so what is this? So this would be glucose data. And the purple is suggesting that I'm in the middle of a spike. And the blue is steadier, right? So across the day, you've got a lot of activity for your glucose. And what, what does that impact? 
So uh, glucose spikes in valleys, even in an individual, even in an individual without diabetes, can be linked to poor cardiovascular health, insulin resistance. It can increase your risk for conditions like type 2 diabetes. So we, we do want to get a handle on our glucose health, our glycemic control, whether we have diabetes or not. And people who are uh, in, in the danger of getting diabetes, uh, they need to get this even before they get diabetes, right? To try not to get diabetes. It would be helpful, yes. And we want to prevent diabetes as much as we and can. And then the app should tell people what to do a little bit, no? Right, so Go the Lingo, walk, take Lingo a walk. is developed with personalized metabolic coaching. So it's analyzing your glucose and it's giving you coaching. So yes, it, there is an, a prompt that says, you're spiking, go for a walk. Or your glucose is on the rise, do some push-ups. Or your glucose is on the rise at lunch. Let's talk about what you're going to have at dinner so you don't have a spike again. It's got to do with the heart? Mostly? Uh, it has what, to do with your, the... the way you're metabolizing glucose, which is having to do a lot with your response to the different foods you're eating. But uh, it impacts everything? Well, or just the heart? High, it... high levels of glucose in this glucose roller coaster with spikes and valleys, it does, Im it does impact heart health. It impacts inflammation, it impacts every system in the body. So it's a big deal. People, it should be all over the world, uh, or is it just starting this kind of thing? I th it's starting. CGMs have been available for individuals with diabetes for a while, but more and more individuals without diabetes are also realizing they can improve their metabolic health by having better glucose control. So it, these biowearables are coming out for all consumers so that they can kind of basically being empowered to over, you know, improve their health. And, and, and does it make sense to say that people who are extremely healthy and are kind of like vegetarians and vegans and stuff like that, yeah. that they might get warnings that they need to get more glucose or, you know, like yeah, uh, so they're, getting, they're too low and they would help absolutely. in that way also. So I've used biosensors to help athletes make sure that they have enough fuel in the tank and that they're not under eating. Um, and I've also used biosensors and athletes who appear very healthy, but when they're not training, they're eating everything, you know, under the sun and they're not the best, you know, choices for them and their health. Wow, so it's extremely uh, accurate and it's approved by all these FDAs and stuff like that in so Europe? It, depen and it depends on the market. Uh, Freestyle Libre is a medical device, and so it's available across 60 different markets. Lingo just launched in the UK, and we're looking at bringing it out into different uh, it, Is different it because markets. they are the first ones yeah. to approve it? The UK? In the UK market? Mm -hmm. yep. uh, so it takes a while for the other ones it to... It takes a while for the other markets to uh, Because follow. it brings more functionality? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we are constantly adding more functions and more content to the app. All right, and it should just be a, a no-brainer, right? It should hopefully not, not be expensive, or it should be included with all the healthcare insurances and everything. I would hope so. You know, the the biowearables are really interesting because even if you're not taking your metabolic health and making improvements, once you wear a biowearable and you can really see the impact of what your diet's doing, what your exercise is doing to your metabolic health, and you're also connecting the puzzle of how you're feeling and what your glucose is doing, it's a real eye-opening moment to say, I want to do better.